Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing the measure of kurtosis for ungrouped data. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Kurtosis, by definition, is the description of the shape of the distribution that is focusing on the peakness of the distribution. If skewness talks about the symmetry of the distribution, well, kurtosis is all about the peakness, how peak or how flat a certain distribution is. The measure of skewness for ungrouped data is solved using this formula. So we have the summation of the score minus mean raised to the fourth power divided by the number of data set times the fourth power of the standard deviation. So to better understand how this works, later we will have an example for us to be familiar with this formula. A data set can be classified based on its kurtosis and it can be one of the following. So first, we have mesocritic. If you may see this blue curve, a mesocritic distribution has a kurtosis equal to 3. Okay, so mesocritic distribution can also be labeled as the normal distribution, the one that we have defined previously with the skewness of 0. For leptocritic, still it is symmetrical along the mean, median, and mode. It doesn't have any skewness, but its difference, it is more peaked as compared to the mesocortic. So if you may notice the red graph here or the red distribution, it is higher in the middle part as compared to the mesocortic, and its kurtosis is greater than 3. However, we also have this flat distribution. It is called the platycurtic, and its kurtosis is less than 3. So the boundary here is 3. If it is equal to 3, if the kurtosis is equal to 3, then that is mesocritic. If it is greater than 3, even just by a decimal number, then that is leptocritic. However, if the kurtosis is less than 3, then that is platycritic. To better understand, let's have this example. We have to solve for the kurtosis of this data set. Previously, we have identified its mean and standard deviation to be 25.71 and 15.71 respectively. So to do that, we need to arrange this in a form of table. We are doing this to better visualize each value and how those values will lead to the summation of score minus mean raised to the fourth power because this part is what we need for our formula. Let's recall the formula for kurtosis. Let's just write it here. It's equal to score minus mean to the fourth divided by n s to the fourth. So basically, what we are doing here is each value 56, 35, 12, 20, 14, 28, and 15, each of them will be subtracted by the mean of 25.71. I suggest you grab your calculator and do this with me. We have 56 minus 25.71. That will result to 30.29. Then that value will be raised to the fourth power, which will give us 841,000. 777.07. Next, we have 35 minus 25.71. That will result to 9.29. Raise this to the fourth power. We have 7,488 or 448 rather, 0. 0.40. Next, we have 12 minus 25.71. That is negative 13.71. Raising this to the fourth power, we have 35,330.50. Next, we have 20. 20 here minus 
71 will give us negative 5.71. Again, raise that to the fourth power. We have 1,063.03. Next, we have 14. 14 minus 25.71, that will give us negative 11.71. Take the fourth power of this. We have 18,803.02. Do the same for 28. We have here 2.29. Raise this to the fourth power. We have 27.50. And finally, we have 35 minus 25.71. We, we will arrive with negative 10.71. Raise this to the fourth power. We have 13,157.03. And then to complete this table, we have to add all the entries of this third column which will give us a sum of 917,606.55. So the secret here is that we will always round off the values to the nearest hundreds or to the nearest two decimal numbers. And we have to be careful in doing that because just an error even on the last digit will affect the answer for this third column. And once that is miscalculated, this sum is also miscalculated. And if this is wrong, then the number that we will substitute here will also be wrong. In simpler words, if we have miscalculated even a single digit, it will have a domino effect until the last line of your solution and it will greatly change your answer. So be careful in solving. Let's just write this more clearly. So once we have arrived with this value, we can now substitute it to our formula for kurtosis. So we have this summation of open parenthesis x minus mean to the fourth all over ns to the fourth. We have this part coming from the last cell here in the table. And here is the number of data involved. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's why we have 7 here. And S here is the standard deviation of 15.71. We will get its fourth power and round it off to the second decimal number as well. That will give us this, 60,912.26. Multiply the two numbers in the denominator, we should have... 426,385.82. And finally, dividing these two numbers, we will arrive with k equals 2.15. And take note, we are comparing this kurtosis to 3. Notice that 2.15 is obviously less than 3, meaning this data set is platicurtic. So that's how we interpret the value of kurtosis. We always compare it to 3. For this next example, I challenge you to do this on your own. Pause this video and then after 10 seconds, we will reveal the correct answers for this data set. Hmm, is this platycurtic, mesohertic, or leptohertic? Find it out on your own and then later we will confirm your answer. Okay, time's up. The correct entries for this table are as follows. We have negative 7, 9, 0, 24, and negative 26 for the second column. For the third column, we should have these entries. And then recall that our formula for kurtosis is this. So we will substitute 797,714 divided by 5 because we have here 5 data. We will include 0 when counting how many data are involved in the data set. So we have 5. And then S here is 18.59. Get the fourth power of that number. We have 
119,431.13. Multiply that to 5, you'll arrive with 597,155.65. And then finally, dividing those two numbers, the coefficient or the measure of kurtosis is 1.34. Next, compare this number to 3. Obviously, 1.34 is less than 3, meaning, just like the first example, this second example is also a platycritic distribution. So that's it for the measure of kurtosis. Take note that we are always comparing the measure of kurtosis to 3. If it is greater than 3, then that's leptohertic. If it's equal to 3, then that is mesohertic. And finally, if it is less than 3, like this example, then that distribution is platycritic. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.